Hello, so in today's video, we're going to introduce the concept of logarithms. So we're going to look at this new topic, logarithms, which, um, I mean, it's still in the same section of the syllabus. It's still under the section exponentials and logarithms. Um, and you'll see why these logarithms um, are related to these exponential graphs and these functions that we looked at in the previous couple of videos in the last few days. So to motivate where logarithms come from, we've got five examples here where what we've got to do is work out the powers that go in these boxes here. So we'll start with the first example here. So we've got one, uh, so this question one, two to the power of something equals eight. So let's think about this. So two to the power of something equals eight, what would be that power? So hopefully we should know that that's going to be three. So two to the power of three does give you the number eight, because uh, two times two times three, sorry, two times two times two is eight. So what we say is that we say that the logarithm so we say the logarithm, uh, sorry, let me write this again, the logarithm uh, of base two uh, of the number eight is equal to three. So in other words, what we're saying here is that log base two of eight is equal to three. So... Uh, this is called your base number. There we call this the base number. And what we're saying is that when we raise 2 to the power of 3, we get 8. So what logarithms do is they tell you the number in the power that you need to raise this base number to to get your answer there. So that's kind of how a log works. So you've got a base number of 2 here. So the logarithm of base 2 of the number eight gives you three because two to the power of three equals eight. So that's kind of how these logarithms work. So we're gonna do the next four examples so we can see further, again, get some more practice with this. So four to the power of something equals four. So what's gonna be in this missing box up there? Four to the power of something equals four. Well, that's gonna be a number one because four to the power of four, sorry, four to the power of one is four. So what do we say? So we say the logarithm, so we say the logarithm of base four, so we've got a base number there of four under the power, so we've got a base number of four, so the logarithm of base four um, of the number four is equal to the number one, so similar to what we said back here, so we say the logarithm of base two of eight is the number three, because the power there is three, so in this case, we say that the log of base, that base number there four, of the uh, outcome therefore is equal to one because four to the power of one is equal to the input therefore. So that's how that one works. Now let's go to the next one. So if we've got three to the power of something equals 81, what would be in this power there? So we know that three times three times three times three is actually 81. So three to the power of four will give us 81. So what do we say? So we say that the logarithm, so we say logarithm of base three of 81 is equal to four. So again, that means in notation, what we would say in a, in a maths exam is we'd say log base three of 81 is equal to four. So again, the base number there of three of, we're taking the log with base three of this number 81, that gives us four. Why? Because three to the power of four equals 81. So again, these logarithms are telling us the powers. They're telling us the power that we raise this number by to obtain this number. Um, so again, we'll go to the next example. So we've got five to the power of something equals one over 125. What is this number in the power there? Well, let's think about what we've got here, actually. So we've got one over 125. So we know that 125 is the same as five to the power of three. So that's five to the power of three. And then using our rules of indices, one over five to the power of three is five to the power of minus three. So the number that's going to go in here is minus three. So what do we say in this case? So we say that the logarithm, so logarithm uh, of base, uh, sort of base five of the number one, uh, one over 125 is equal to minus three. So therefore, in notation, what we say is that log base five of one over 125 is equal to the number minus three. Um, so again, base five, we're taking the logarithm of the base number of five of this result here. It tells us that the power that we need to raise five by to get one over 125 is minus three. So again, that's how we would write this here.
So then let's look at this last example. So 16 to the power of something equals 1 over 64. So let's think about this. So 1 over 64 is exactly the same as 64 to the power of minus 1. Now let's think about this 64. So we know that 64 is the same as the number 4 to the power of 3. So this in here is 4. Uh, so 4 to the power of 3, all to the power of minus 1. Now we know that 4, if you square 4, you get 16. So this is basically uh, 16 times by 4 to the power of minus 1. So then we know that 16 is actually uh, the square of 4. So we know 4 is the square root of 16. So what we've got here is 16 times by 16 to the power of a half, all to the power of minus 1, which is 16 to the power of 3 over 2 to the power of minus 1. Uh, and that's uh, using our rules of indices. We can then multiply the powers there by negative 1. So we get 16 to the negative negative. 3 over 2. So the number that's going to go in the power here is negative 3 over 2. So 16 to the power of minus over 2 is 1 over 64. So how would we write this in notation? So what we say, so we uh, say that the logarithm, so the logarithm uh, of base 16, so our base number under the power is a base of 16. So the logarithm of base 16 of the number 1 over 64 is equal to minus 3 over 2. So in mathematical notation, the logarithm of base 16 of the number 1 over 64 is equal to minus 3 over 2. So again, what logarithms tell us is they tell us the power that we need to raise this base number by, so this base number there, to obtain this number here. So let's go through like another example without using these powers. So let's say you get a question which says to you calculate um, without a calculator. I mean, I mean, obviously in your A-level exams, you will have calculators, but let's just say you were doing like this random test without a calculator. And it said to you to calculate log base two of let's say 32. So what is this gonna be? So it's the power we raise two by to obtain 32. So this number here, I put a question mark there, is the same as this question mark here. So two to the power of this question mark equals 32. So that number is equal to this power. So what power do we raise this 2 by to obtain 32? Well, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is 32. So 2 to the power of 5 is 32. So let's just do some working over here. So you know that 2 to the power of 5 equals 32. So that means that this power there is going to be equal to 5. So the final answer to this question is 5. So the logarithm of base 2 of the number 31 is the number 5, because 2 to the power of 5 equals 32. So that's just an example, again, of how you can actually calculate with these logarithms. So what do logarithms do? They help us solve equations where we've got missing numbers in the power. So actually now we're able to solve these kind of equations here using logarithms. So logarithms, again, help us solve equations like this here. So 3 to the power of x equals 100. How could we solve this? So again, logarithms tell us the power that we need to raise 3 by to get 100. So we've got a base number here of 3. Let's just make a note that we've got a base number here of 3. So that's our base number. So what do we need to raise our base number by? What power do we need to raise our base number by to obtain this 100? So 3 to the power of something equals 100. What would be this x here? What is this x? So we're going to use logarithms on our calculator to do this. So on your calculator, you should hopefully get a, or hopefully have uh, a button like this. We've got a box there and a box there. So what you want to do on your calculator is you want to put log and then inside that box here, you want to put a base of three. And then inside your brackets here, you want to put 100 there. And then you want to go to your calculator. You want to put that into your calculator. So if I do that, I would get uh, about 4.19 to three significant figures. So 4.19 uh, to three SF. So what that tells us is that 3 to the power of 4.19 is about 100. And if you do that on the calculator, 3 to the power of 4.19, it is roughly about 100. I mean, I get 99.8 when I do that to the rounded version there. But yeah, so 4 to the power of this number here will give you 100. So again, logarithms tell you the power that you need to raise the base by to obtain that number. So now we're able to solve equations using the log button on our calculator. If you don't have this log button on your calculator, um, 
I will go through uh, in future videos how we actually can do that without using the log button, but hopefully your calculator does. Um, but the most important thing for now is you understand how these logarithms work. And I'll go through again uh, in future videos how we can actually do this in a different way. But for the time being, let, let's just um, make sure that we understand how logarithms work. Um, and in the next couple of videos, we'll go through a bit more theory as to what logarithms are and how we can use them uh, to solve problems.